So here we are guys, we're back on the yellow wheel refurb, as you can see here in this video I'm going to be painting the yellow, getting the first lot of paint on it so we should see some colour going on this. So if you're a returning viewer, give us a thumbs up for this and if you're a new viewer, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. So here we are guys, in this video I'm going to be laying down some paint on the first of these four alloy wheels. I'm in my little shed that I've turned into a temporary paint booth. I've painted the walls white to help bounce some light off. Got my floodlight up. Got some power running here with some heaters to go to take the chill. It's not cold out here, but I just want to get it above a certain temperature. Um, I'm, I'm aiming here to be about 15 degrees Celsius, which is about 60 Fahrenheit, which is about right, I'd say, for painting. So as we're waiting for the temperature to rise a bit more here, I'm just going to talk you through some of the products I've got to do this first wheel. Okay, so we're going to start off, I've got some masking tape, some preparation wipes. I've got one of these handy little trigger things you stick on top of the can to help you get a proper spray. I've got some filler primer, some normal primer, some Ford machine silver, and the purple rain paint to match the colour of the roof. I've also believe I've got a kettle here because I'm going to warm the paint up with some warm water um, because that'll help the flow better. Not to mention I've got a face mask for when I paint because you don't want paint dust getting on your lungs being in an enclosed space or when you're painting in general you should always use some sort of mask for protection. So any of the products I use in this video are in the description. There's links where you can get the same stuff as well. So as you can see I've started to mask up. I'm going to go around the edges, I will be going around here with some smaller masking tape. Also I've got my filler primer in some warm water because it will give it a better spray. Um, I'm going to shake it for a couple of minutes and then start applying. So we're almost masked up as you can see, just got a few more bits to do, a little bit around here. Um, cover the rest of the wheel and then I'm ready for painting this. So I've spun the tyre around, I'm going to put some masking tape around the back here and use this, this to shield off the tyre. Um, I couldn't find any polythene stuff but black bags, uh, Tesco bags here or um, newspaper even would do the job. Some people wouldn't worry about this but I like to be prepared. Um, I'm going to start on the inside painting and then work my way to the outside which is the other side so I'm going to finish doing this prep work and come back and show you once it's all done ok so now I'm going to get my dust mask all prepped up this is the mask, I'm going to put the filters on the sides here now there it is So I've had filler primer in some warm water. Shake it for a couple of minutes before painting. <laughs> one last one last thing to do before I paint. Let's give it a quick wipe around with some prep wipes. See all the crap that comes off of it. Whilst I'm shaking this up for a couple of minutes, it's been dry now. In fact, this just fell off, so I'm not going to worry about it for now. Give it about 10 minutes to tack and then come back and do another coat. 
Okay, my mate, my battery light's just gone off. So the next stage I've turned it around as you can see and I'm gonna give this a light coat of the filler primer and then give it 10 minutes to tack and then I'll give it a light sand back as well or something like 1500 grit and then leave it to dry and then give it another coat if it needs it and then we can put some normal primer on and then once that's done we can consider putting some paint on uh, base coat and go from there so let's see what happens next shall we Okay, I'm going to give that a couple of minutes. By a couple of minutes, I mean about 10 minutes. Let it take off, give it another coat of sand, like I say. And then we can put some normal primer on it. Already I'm seeing an improvement. Okay, so. I'll give it another couple of coats, uh, leaving it 10 15 minutes between each coat to tack. This is going to be the final coat. I'm going to leave it for about half hour or so and then I'm going to sand it back, put some basic primer on it, some grey primer uh, inside and out, and then I'll probably leave it overnight um, so it fully cures, sand it back with some fine sandpaper to get some really smooth finish, and then put some base coat on it and then clear coat it. Um, so far it's looking a hell of a lot better than what it did when I started um, I've still got three more to go which is the bit that's boring me but for a, a non-professional I don't think this is coming out too bad so yeah I'm well chuffed with it so far okay so I've left this to dry over um, I've tapped it back and I'm going to put some grey primer on it so must go on and uh, crack on. Okay, I'll, okay, I'll shake this for two minutes. I'm going to apply two coats primer. First coat's going to be light, second coat's going to be a bit better. Uh, then we're going to let it dry up. We're going to tack it back, wet sand and stuff like that. And um, let's crack on. Okay, that's had a light dusting as you see. I'm going to give it 10 15 minutes at 15 degrees Celsius. I allow it to dry, then give it another coat, and then we'll be good for some base coat. So you'll finally see some of the colour going on. Happy days. Second coat, of, second coat of primer going on. Now you're aiming to get rid of all the yellow coat that I put on with the filler primer. So this one should cover hopefully the rest of it.
Okay, okay, there you go. Second coat didn't take too long to go on. I've covered all the yellow. Once that dries off now, I'm gonna like say 800 grit, wet and dry, sand it back, and then we can get some color on it. Don't look too bad. I've started to wet sand it down to a nice smooth finish. Inside has it got to be 100% perfect. Some of the yellow has started to come through where I've sanded it back a bit too heavy, but it shouldn't matter too much. That's what I'm hoping anyway, otherwise I'd have to go over it again. But you can barely see any of the curb rash now. If anything, you really have to have a good look. But for the first time I've ever done anything like this, I don't think it's too bad. So that's it, it's wet sanded back. Um, I'm going to leave this now to fully dry for a couple of hours so I'll probably come back and base coat it say like later on this evening okay it's got a bit dark in here isn't it because I think we've got a power cut everything's just turned off in here so I can't really continue with this I can paint this bit here that I've started uh, with the machine silver and leave it to dry in here um, but all the power has gone out here so there's no way of me continuing I've got this little bit of light here it's a good thing I've got my little hat on because this keeps my head a bit warm but the real reason for this if you're wondering I've got earphones in this thing see so I can listen to music whilst I'm chatting away and doing the videos without copyright protection and I'm sorry <laughs> I'm going to go and see what's going on with the power and see if it can be fixed should be able to be fixed hopefully it's just a short circuit somewhere unfortunately the video ain't going to be able to continue today i'm going to go and find out what's caused the power to trip and um come back to you soon bye for now